Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and Apple's back at it again. There is a new color for the iPhone 8, red. And so of course, we're here with our first look and our first impressions in our unboxing of the new red iPhone, and it's a little bit different from last year. So the product red iPhone tradition that started last year continues. Uh, this year, of course, we have more iPhones than normal. We have the 10, the 8, and the 8 Plus, but this red is only for the 8 and the 8 Plus. But what's really new this time is Apple actually listened to their customers and this iPhone looks a little bit different. So let's hop right in. So the unboxing experience is gonna be the same as any other iPhone 8 or 8 Plus, but of course now you have the red box here with the red text and the red Apple logo. And it's the 256 gig 8 Plus, just for the record. Uh, you take a look at it, it's the same accessories in the box, the same order of everything. And of course now you get the pamphlet uh, if you purchase any product red item from Apple, if you didn't know, donates a portion of what you spend to support HIV and AIDS programs and research for them. Now, I don't know what portion exactly that is, but it's for sure going to a good cause. But then after the paperwork, you get that red iPhone in all its glory. And right off the bat, you can see it is really, really red. It's a different red from last year, which was that anodized matte red and aluminum finish. This is under glass now as the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are, so it's more of like this Ferrari red or ruby or candy red. And I, I can't even explain to you exactly how red this is. The camera will have to do it justice. And then of course you flip it over and you'll see that they did in fact listen to us. A lot of the big complaints with last year's red iPhone, if we had any, were that it had a white front this year, it's a straight up red and black MKBHD edition iPhone 8 we all wanted. So super red back, all black front. Uh, there's no other Apple device like this, red and black. I really, really like the look of it. The more I look at it, it's really hard to capture in photos. I was trying to share them on Instagram and Twitter, but it's difficult. This is a seriously red phone. Now seeing what they've done with this, I really want an iPhone 10 in this red also, I brought it up. They wouldn't say if they would do it or not, but obviously it's the same glass that's on the back of the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10. So I would love to see a red iPhone 10 maybe sometime soon. But anyway, all the way around the edges, you have your matching red anodized aluminum still, uh, which is kind of a nice contrast with the black front. Uh, and then of course the fingerprint reader, touch ID, and the display, everything else, the internals, it's the exact same phone as all the other iPhone 8s, just with different colors. And that's basically it. All we're doing is admiring a new color here. Uh, should you buy it? M maybe, I mean, as beautiful as it is, you gotta think, you know, it's six months into the Apple product cycle. There's gonna be a new iPhone, like iPhone 9 within like six months, like clockwork. So if you're gonna upgrade anyway, go for it, but you gotta know what's just around the corner. Or maybe let's say you're happy with your phone right now and you don't wanna spend a ton of money, but you still want a little bit of red in your life. If you're that guy, you can of course grab a skin for the iPhone, which will make it look a bit more red. It's not exactly the same as this Ferrari red iPhone, but of course the advantage is you can make any phone look this way. So iPhone 10, for example, you can turn red, which Apple didn't do yet. So that's out there, I'll link to it below. But bottom line is we're just looking at a mid-cycle refresh of a really cool new color for the iPhone that goes to a good cause. And I'm not mad at all about this. But anyway, this is your first look. Feel free to share this video with anyone who you think might be interested in this super bright red iPhone. Uh, it's on sale now, it's on their site, and I think it'll be in stores in a couple of days officially. But uh, let me know if you'd cop this. Let me know if this speaks to you the way it does to me. Either way, quick video, just wanted to share this. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.